Uh, Zodo Abantu and Tusa have in common? Scratching things. They are bot missions. <laughs> <laughs> that was a dead one. <laughs> that was a dead one. <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> no, I'm not impressed. Hey. Hey, it's that time. You know, I always get depleted by 50 minutes, one hour. Uh, I'm always depleted. Have you guys tried this thing? Have what is that? This baby? That baby is called to Tomorrow what? Tonight, The Hangover Cure. Tomorrow Tonight, fuck, sounds kinky oh. as hell. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't tried it, but Tomorrow Tonight sounds kinky. Dude, I want to try it. I tried it the other day, it actually works. And I'm not just saying it because the advertising What's the, the point of it? What does it do? It prevents hang, uh, hangover. It prevents hangover. So you have it the night before, and then you rock all night, and then you have another one the next day after. And Holy you won't have fuck. a hangover, yeah. But if you don't use it the night before, it won't work. Oh. So you have to drink oh, the night before. I see. So you see, like now we're gonna go ham tonight. Yeah. So I'm gonna have one now. Oh, okay. And get ready. But How it works. I, it? I I I has tried it as well. How do you have it? Uh, like you just water? pour the shirt it in here, and then you pour some water. Oh. Give me some water. Then. Okay. Tomorrow so, tonight. So if Jay Z committed a crime and they wanted to hang him, this thing would save him because <laughs> it prevents a hangover. <laughs> 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 Tomorrow tonight. Hey, I'm gonna oh, need this to save because. Wait, wait, you're rocking tonight. Yeah. Is that why you're having it? Yeah. Oh shit, dope. Yeah. So wait, what is it now? What kind of does it come in one sachet, two sachets, there's or 12, pills? There's twelve in a box. Oh. And how many do you take for one? If I'm gonna go out and rock, just one. Even if I let's say, but just one, because some of us drink more than others. Like you'll have three bottles or one or two bottles. One will still take care of you. Yeah, one is good. Shit. That's tomorrow tonight. Make sure you check it out. It's available from Discam, Clicks, or any pharmacy, and on Take a Lot. Tomorrow tonight, prevention is better than cure. Yep. yep. Yeah, you don't need this, though, dog. You never hang, bro. You hardly have hangovers. Like, you're always fresh the next morning. True. Mm. I, just, I, I get slight headaches. Slight headaches. But I think my system is strong now. Yeah. I've, I have so much experience drinking, but also... What what I do is I try to drink as much water as possible. Oh yes, you drink but a shit I love of water. water. Yeah, Naturally, yeah, yeah. I drink oh. water. Like yeah. I have like eight, li- not liters, but I have I drink a lot of water. That's eight the liters, the aim. not liters. No, or oh, eight glasses of. No, not even eight. Or more than that. I, I drink water. Like any chance there's water, I'll have water. My yeah. aim is to drink at three liters a day. Damn, guys, that's, that's a good because the it's two liters is the mandatory, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, speaking about alcohol, I had a meeting with Macro uh, um, this past week. Oh, yeah. uh, shout out to all the chillers uh, from Macro in Woodmead. That's the one that sells the most grandeur. Oh, yeah, that's oh, where I, I, I yeah. bought my first bottle of grandeur at a Macro. Yeah. I was with that fucker, Spewe. <laughs> when our second sound engineer, I was with him, funny oh. enough, when yeah. we bought the bottle. Remember where that thing where we were shooting Mum um Hector Peterson's uh Oh yes, yes, yes sister. Yes, yes. I forgot her. Yeah. Yeah, Woodmead bought it there. Yeah. Great service. So when I walked in there they were shocked because normally like people in the industry that own uh, uh uh alcohol brands are just influencers. So they were shocked like that I own the the actual brand. How do they know that information? What do you mean? Like if Casper walks in or if uh, Pearl Tusi walks in, <laughs> hold on, or AKA That's walks even in. Been five minutes. <laughs> no, it, no, no, no. There's a long list that I'm mentioning right now. But you have to start there. <laughs> oh, Pella, it's okay, carry on, the bottle that looks familiar. Yeah, so carry on, carry on. we start at home. <laughs> Carry on, carry on, carry on. Hey. A bottle okay. that's disguised as a grand And then, <laughs> is what? I can't believe this guy's, bro. What the fuck? <laughs> now the bottle is disguised. Sometimes I'm going to eat. Aye, I'm mean, I'm mean, I'm mean. I'm mean. Aye, ah, can we start again, man? Oh, ah, yeah, we, what do you mean? Can we go an episode without mentioning that guy's name? You Come on. It's I the first oh. time I bring him up. It's the first time. Oh. It's my the daughter. first time. You're the one oh, who mentions it. Remember the words? Oh. Remember the one we got up nowhere? It's like, 
Actually, fuck yes, bro. <laughs> I'm like, yo, Mac, how's your mom doing? <laughs> oh, she's great, man. I just bought her the new latest iPhone. Anyway, fuck yes. <laughs> you remember that, right? <laughs> you know, they, they, I was like, what's this coming from? You're the one who mentions them, but no, I'm saying, like, Pearl Tooth has got a gin. Kelu Kumalo tried a hand in gin. Uh, Tibo Taj tried his hand in gin. Um, fact checker, you're coming through. Boiti as a cider, all these people. So they say when those people, they never come in and they never yeah, on no, the ground. Yeah, like, all those people don't own the the the, the products. Ooh. I'm literally the only black person who owns the the alcohol brand mm. in the country. Mm. Man, shut! Whoa, bro. <laughs> so when there's meetings cause, cause, with those people, it's the guys that actually own the brands. Because that's that's high level uh, meetings. Yeah, it's, it's executives. Yeah. It's executives for it's the not bosses. Not for influencers. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I always say with a straight face, like, yeah, for bosses, man. I'm a boss. It's like he's also amazing as a boss. I'm a boss. I'm a boss. So for boss, it's Crocs now. Dog. What do you mean? Don't fucking disrespect me. These are Crocs, nigga. These, it was Crocs these are not. Now. No, no, but I did go in my flops. These are not 150. These are not. He's upgraded. <laughs> to yellow Crocs. Yeah, yeah. He's with British shocks in Crocs. <laughs> anyway, mm. so what they saying is that. The other guys, they never involved. Yeah. Damn. What is interesting about that meeting, I found out that 50% of the alcohol consumed in this country is from Gauteng. Jesus. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's ambiguous. 50% of the alcohol consumed in the country is produced in Gauteng or is consumed in Gauteng? Consumed in Gauteng. Ah. Hey, it's your pools, eh? <laughs> no, we drink. Those but it makes fuckers. sense. Those pills motherfuckers. Pills motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We drink. Imagine, bro. Every time you go to the hood, niggas are just drinking, yeah. dog. There's nothing to do. Unemployment and all. And, and also... Yes, and also with the most, like, pop, one of the most populated. Like, the density, you know, compared to our, our area, we've got a lot of people. Yeah. But what happened to... Costly, um, fact checker, what happened to Cramstown? They used to hold a crazy record for drinking remember there was always these urban myths that they hold a world record for the most consumed beer and whatnot and my only one who knows this cram yeah, style I you just have a reputation that. for drinking wow you've never heard that no is that where roses uh, no is that where roses yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah that's where drink. roses yeah, is those yeah guys drink at roses, no man. you've never heard Ple- hey i'm the fact checker yeah. for real like they used to drink i don't know what happened now but hold on man i'll find it to answer to you, yes, they used to be, no, the Northern Cape used to be the highest drinking province. Northern but Cape. But currently it is Gauteng, and the highest metropolitan is Tswane with 53 people. Oh, yeah. Hey, that's Melikin. Yeah, that's just Melikin. Melikin. <laughs> 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 yeah, Melikin is responsible for that. <laughs> <laughs> Hey. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, um in 2018 Northern Cape was the highest. In uh. 2018 stats currently it's Gauteng. Ah, oh, nice one, man. Yeah. Anyway, hand oh, up, oh, man. Oh, hey, ladies and gentlemen, oh, we God. are back. Podcast and chill. Coming at you live from David Machevela Studios. Uh, if you want to use the studio for any of your podcasting needs, just email podcast at machevela.co.za. It's that simple. Before we start the show, right? Yeah. Uh, if you're a black person, there's a, 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 a video you got to check out on YouTube, man. Like, actually, fuck this podcast. Stop watching this podcast right now. And go to that video. Uh, it's a video I saw because I was uh, I was watching um, United Stand. So every time I sleep, I watch United Stand on YouTube. Mm-hmm. So I'm watching United Stand, and then the baby woke up, so she woke me up, and then um, uh, I could hear this thing playing in the background, and I'm like, "Hey, this guy is speaking speaking facts, dog." So I ended up waking up and watched the whole thing. It's like two hours, and it's a speech made by Keras One. Fuck, you know, yo. That guy is dropping gems, knowledge. Who's that? Karis One is a rapper. The reason Karis One is dropping knowledge is because his name, K R S hyphen one, stands for knowledge reign supreme mm-hmm. hyphen one over nearly everybody. 
Bro, oh. that's what Karis One actually stands you for. Gotta watch, you gotta watch. You gotta watch that video, man. Okay. I'll put up the link so everybody can check it out. But he's preaching, man. He basically speaks about like how uh, he's like speaking about black consciousness, yeah, and how uh, hip hop is at the center of like our liberation. So he starts from how hip hop started, uh, where it went, where it yeah. is now, what's coming in the future. Like, oh man, there's so many gems. Let me, let me. I wrote down a few that 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 I really liked. Eh? Mm-hmm. Uh, he spoke about how. Like white people fucked us over by words, like, like the fact that we speak English today is because that's the way they designed it, so we can see uh, things via their reality. Oh. So like words are so important, but no one ever questions, you know, uh, why this is called this and this is called that, mm-hmm. and that's because like once you understand the power of words, you understand the power of perception. Mm. Mm. So he gave an example. He's like, um, uh, so basically we think in English because we talk English. Yeah. So we think in one perception. Even and worse. Um, and remember, this comes from uh, an, uh, an African-American. They don't have the luxury of a Vernac language. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so just to get the background. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, 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 so uh, he said like, if an electrician walks in a room, right? Walks in here, right? Mm. They're going to see this room like, from an electrician's perspective mm. in terms of like they're going to see the wires that we don't see and 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 you know things the that lights. are happening mm. in this room regarding electricity very true their perspective is electrical yes mm. right and then a plumber walks in now a plumber's perspective is going to see like the drains where they are which we don't see if there's a virgin mm. he'll be like you haven't been piped <laughs> Right, a painter yeah. walks in. Yeah, a painter's gonna see the colors of yeah. the room. So if so, th- those are three different people, same room, but three different perceptions. Perceptions and yeah. interpretation of the very same environment. So he's saying that we only see one perception, which is English, which is what we've been taught. So there are things around us that we don't see because we are not in tune with that perception. Whoa. Yeah, because we don't view the world on that frequency. Yes. So, because we taught in English and whatever, we're going to see English things. Because we were taught English things. So, for example, yeah. like if you see a bird, why is it called a bird? Who taught you that? We were taught that from school, from a young age, that this is a bird. It's a B-I-R-D. But what if it is... <laughs> what? B-I-R-D. <laughs> I did. Right? But what yeah. if a bird is an ancestor? So you'll never see that perception because you never taught that perception, and oh, you don't yeah, see yeah, things yeah. in that perception. Because, 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 yeah, yeah. For like, if it's a totem am- animal, yeah. Right? Let's say we're in Oahu, Guenya, or whatever, and you've got yes. a totem animal that represents your 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 your, your ancestry and whatnot. Obviously, if you're very westernized, you won't see when you see it. It won't mean anything to you. Guarantee at times, not all the time. It may be maybe a sign or whatever. So he's talking about like how words, like really, 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 like they fucked us up with the words, because before uh, uh, they colonized us, mm-hmm. our ancestors used to think in the African percept uh, perception. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So now we think in the English perception. Mm-hmm. So when you see th- English things, we don't see African things. Like for example, Makes right? sense, bro. For example, like it does. Uh, it's uh, true. Uh, 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 if you look at prawns, prawns because of the word are a delicacy, but you look at mashonja, they are not. Whereas, in in actual fact, mashonjas are more healthier, healthier than, prawns. Than, than prawns. Prawns are insects. Oh, for. Prawns are cockroaches of the ocean. Yeah, they're yeah. cockroaches of the ocean. It, oh, so the cockroaches. Uh, eh, but I'm not I'm a prawn. <laughs> I've never had a massage. You've had a massage, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm none of my prawns, guys. I'm a prawns. I'm none. But because of words, because of words, words that they used, it's a, it's a delicacy. Which one is perceived more valuable? Yeah, massage of hell. It's like, I, I, I. you get what I'm saying? Yeah. They fucked us. With the words. I guess it's like even our African names, you know, it's they always have meaning, whether you're. 
white names normally don't have meaning. You know? That's the beauty of our names. So there's always a story names. to tell. Even just as general words, you know, in, in Vernac, they have a story to tell. So, yeah. so he said that's how hip hop started yeah. back in the days. It was an activism thing. Uh, they were marginalized. They were not part of the mainstream. Nobody was seeing them. So they started to create their own language. So that's why they have slang. Yeah. So instead of, uh, uh, give me an uh, an American slang, ha- crib. Yeah, instead of a house, they're like, no, this is a crib. Mm. But it comes also from the crib of a child. Baby house. Like yeah, baby. maybe that was a bad example. <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> You know, there's many yeah, slags, yeah, man. Here we go. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. There's many words that mean something and only a niche group of people know what it means. Yeah, so they were like, fuck this shit that you guys have been teaching us. We're going to create our own language, our own movement. Homie. Yeah. like a friend. Compadre. Yeah. Compatriot. Mm. Yeah. You understand? So fuck, it's crazy, man. It is. That's Keres, watch bro. It. Yeah, Keres was is watch brilliant. It, man. He's Keres, brilliant. my favorite. Like I, I was introduced to Keres later on. I was in high school. Uh, to sneak attack. That's the album that I loved. Like it teaches. Keres is good. He's even as a song with a South African guy. A cause away. The guy is featured. I think it's from Cape Town or the Western Cape or whatever. But it's Kosa guy. Yeah. It's called uh, the World Is Mind. Keres won the World Is Mind featuring Shy Kosa. You know, and just raps about language and Kosa and whatnot. Yeah. That's Keres. I love Keres. I want to be huge. Bro, I want to get him on, bro, because I'm not doing justice to the lecture. Actually, yeah. let's talk to Keres one. Bro, Listen, we got to Last get him. week, we I watched a video him, of him oh. talking about No, you're going to love this shit, dog. Everything he's speaking is facts. Like, fuck you, right, dog? You know what he said? He said, like, hip-hop, when it started, right? It was poor people, right? Uh, they wanted to express themselves, okay? <laughs> and then... Why people saw that, oh shit, we could make money from this. Then mm. became mainstream, right? Mm. And then the message they started pushing via mainstream Bitches. did not, yeah, did not align with the values yeah. of why they actually Where started. started yeah. Right? Yeah. But the niggas sold to mainstream because niggas were hungry. Right? Mm. And they just wanted to eat. Yeah. So it was easy to like, he was like, all right, cool. Imagine uh, you're a rapper in Brooklyn, you got two dollars. A white guy comes to you, he's like, listen, I'm gonna give you three hundred thousand just for what you're doing for free right now. I'll give you 300,000. You got to take it. Mm-hmm. So eventually hip hop sold out and then the white people took over it and monetized it and it is what it is because of that, you know? Which reminds me like if you think about piano that's basically what's happening. Ooh, with hey, piano. Bring it home nicely. It's always going to happen. Yeah. Mm. Where a black man finds something it's incredible, it's beautiful. Some external force will come in. Yeah. And disrupt, take over violently so. Mm. And then there'll be that, you know, violence, not literally, but obviously beefing, calamity. The message will change from where the message that it's, it started as just a music yeah. uh, thing and then it'll change because yeah. of, oh no, when you do this, when you say this, it sells more. Mm. When you show naked women on the yes. videos, it sells more. Drip hop. Mm. When you, Hey. When you wear drip. Oh, oh. Hey. Hey. <laughs> I was about to say, fill us in. Hey, drip. And, and, drip. and if you check, most of the biggest, actually, all of the piano act, uh, acts that are big are guys that were poor from the hood. Oh, yeah. True. Which is similar to how hip hop started. I had to put you in a spot, right? Yeah. You see, like, the biggest distributor right now of most Ama Piano cats is Electro Mode. Yeah. Mm. Don't you feel it's a similar thing then? Yeah. And With even, like, it even goes beyond especially that. Especially when there's independent avenues. It even Korean goes beyond stuff. that. Uh, now, uh, my piano is being exploited by uh, white uh, promoters overseas. So there's an agency. That's not good. Yeah, That's there's an agency. Good. That's not good. I forgot the name of the agency, I'll but if you, you go why. to the website, right, they literally have all the biggest piano acts from the country under their website and they get them gigs. So now these white guys are monopolizing piano outside of the country. Yeah. That's not so good. if you check all the biggest piano events outside of the country, they're owned by white people. And then what that does is that it, 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 they monopolize the, 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 the money. Number one. You understand? Number one, yeah. And if you're a kid from Coca, see you're big and you got a big piano song, you don't really care about that. You're just excited that you're in Paris to start off with. Yeah, and also you, you're making maybe half a bar or a million. You know what I mean? That's a lot of money for Well, back at the anyone, ranch, really. back at the ranch, they eating. Mm. And then you know where it's going to go from there, right? It's going to go to a point where they're like, yo, listen, you are amazing last year, 2022, 2023 now, but guess what? Can you please... 
add these words into the piano. We've noticed that the diaspora here of black people in, love this touch, this and this and that. Whereby the streets in SA don't relate to that. And that's where the piano started. And then that overall will change the sound also. That's when it becomes mainstream. When did that happen? What you just explained? No, no, it's, 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 it's bound to happen. No, no, I'm saying this. And then that's the progression. If... The biggest exporters of my piano yeah. are white and they are foreign. Yeah. Then they will say there's a demand in Europe, but you must change my piano sound to this. Then mm. it will even sell more in Europe. So it's like, now. I, no, I'm just asking drink, in the past. I see, I see dilute mm. to suit a certain palette. Mm, mm, do you mm. get me? Then yeah. it gets diluted to suit a certain palette. Yeah. And that can very well happen. It's already happened. We've lost piano, dog. We don't own nah, it anymore. Nah, don't say that. I'm We're telling still... you. I'm telling have you. you. Have like we lost like piano? Yeah. We like really lost piano. Yeah, it's gone, bro. We've it's lost gone. piano. It's gone. Guys, are you saying piano we've lost? Dude, we created piano. Yeah, but we don't own it. It's gone. What do you mean? What was meant to happen? We're the brains and the minds that created yeah, it. But everybody's doing their own thing, bro. There's no unity. Mm. There's different camps, right? What was meant to happen is that we were meant to come together and become a Def Jam Africa of piano. Where okay. if you want if you want this guy, you gotta go through this channel. We gotta eat as well. Oh. And ah. that's how we regulate it. But isn't that gatekeeping? Then we'll end up saying that it's gatekeeping. That's fine. Okay. Then but Surely it's not too late. Let, let's do it. Let's band it together. Please, man. Hey, they laugh a good Please. <laughs> Come on. Let's hang on in. Wishful thinking, dog. <laughs> no, let's... For real. Forget about that. It's every man for himself. It's every man for himself. Niggas are eating. They don't care about you, dog. Yeah, but true. When niggas are eating... And then the sad them, thing is, fuck. it's now going to start happening. And I've already seen it. It's going to happen with podcasting. Okay, 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 okay. Break it down. Break it mm. down. Podcasting. Break it down. How's it going to happen with podcasting? So what's happening now with podcasting is that there's some podcasters who've sold their soul to the highest bidder and become a mouthpiece. Because if you are in any political landscape, you know it's important to have a mouthpiece mm. to push agendas. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. That's why, like, when you're going to uh, stage a coup, right, in any country, anywhere, the first thing you do is take over the public broadcaster. So when there's a coup, a military coup, for example, the first thing the military general will do, who's the guy normally who stages the coup because he's got the power, yeah. the popularity within the ranks, and the people love him within the military, you go, you take over the SABC so mm. that you control... What you've, got a, you've, you've got a voice. Mm. Yeah. And that's the mouthpiece. Yes. Go on. So there's some podcasters who sold their soul. Right now. E so what, 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 what you're saying is they are bought by entities that want a voice to push propaganda. Oh, of course. Of course. You know? So God, which podcasts God. would you say have been captured? Uh, that Peniel one. Peniel? Yeah. He just joined every forum. What do you mean? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Can you? laughs> and, and I'm disappointed, man. He had such great ideas, dog. Penyo, wow, wow, okay. Number one, why do you say his podcast is is, is um uh, Okay, so he 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 does a podcast with Smoo, where they can't even get the sound right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Please>. <laughs> and then there's another podcast that he does, which is clean. They have better production than we do. Oh shit! I see. Okay, I see. Okay, oh. that's so. That's when you see that who's out, funding that. Oh, why? Why is this one low quality production and that one the utmost best production? But it's guys seemingly with the same access to resources, mm. working together, kind of. Yeah, yeah. Hey, but I'll be honest, man. Penuel's podcast is. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Angles. Yeah. Yeah. Angles. Yeah. Angles. Yeah. Angles. Yeah. Yeah. Angles. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
which is partly the reason you started the podcast is to you know rid your life of 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 brokenness and hard times and whatnot to be financially well and no, then not really i was just yeah, there's ah. nothing else i was doing mate. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have a choice i was fired dog i didn't have no, a no, choice no 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 number one <laughs> but i was either there no. to chill at home play with my balls <laughs> <laughs> nah dog so you i chose to play yes. with the mic <laughs> yeah yeah which has always been your thing yeah. right and that's why the podcast is a success because you're good at what you do but you also wanted that financial reward from it it was not what pushed you but it was a a, 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 what a result of your, 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 yeah. your efforts. Yeah. So some guys will do that also. And then there's a deal that comes when the guy says, I'll give you 50 million rands. I just want you to change your narrative a bit. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah. So it's always a tricky. It's easy to say don't take, but it's tough. No, bro. Not can't you, when can't, that deal can't comes can't you, through. Can't you see the pattern? What I'm saying is, hip hop. We started it. Okay. Mm. First choice. Empty stomachs. Yeah, on empty, empty stomachs. On empty stomachs. And for its first choice, uh, first chance, people got uh, to make money. They sold out, right? Mm -hmm. Piano. We started it. First chance, people get to make money. Sold it out. <laughs> Right? That's, that's slightly more tricky. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll say why. Yeah. Now it's podcasting. We, you know, as black people, we're not part of mainstream. But finally, dog, we got a voice, we got a platform where we can come and share our stories and change lives. Okay. And at the first chance, people get to make money, they sell their souls. Okay. Can you, can you, can you not see the pattern? I see even, the pattern. Even, even politicians, right? Uh, more subtle than them. They had a chance to make a difference in this country. They sold their souls to the highest bidder. Oh, yeah, I still went to business and then they got the McDonald's deal. Instant billionaire. You get what I'm saying? Shanduka and everything else. So that's a pandemic. Okay. <laughs> but isn't it equivalent to like businesses? Wow. You see how when we're talking about, let's say you start your own gin and then they approach you, they want to buy you, you sell. So same thing, you start a podcast, you know, and then someone comes, offers you money, it's fine. Yeah, if you're captured, you're captured. It's, 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 it's a business decision. But that's being <laughs> short-sighted short because the same thing that black people started, which is hip-hop, is now makes $10 billion, $10 billion a year. But remember, our so problem is that's that we're money, hungry. Hold on, hold that's on. That's money that, that is meant to go to black people, but it's not. But because we're allowed, we allowed people to take over. Because but we're disadvantaged and hungry. Yes. Yes. But my question is... But there's, there's someone who's got to stop that. There's someone who's got to stand for the right thing. My and that's what we're doing on this platform. My question mm. is, though... and mm. it's, My question is, if hip-hop is making 10 billion example right maybe the, f the the figure is incorrect a a year right now or a month was it gonna make 10 billion if we kept it raw and because it started off as a conscious movement as carrie said speaking about liberation of the mind black consciousness having pride in your own blackness and cleaning up the hood not littering educating your kids not doing drugs and then the white guy said hey how about we add booty and nudity? Would it still be then a black, a, a 10 billion? And I'm playing devil's advocate, you know, to say, would it still be such a huge thing? Because a lot of people have said that we're doing the Lord's work, yeah? You know what I mean? We, we, we're healing people of depression or whatever. And that's how people relate to the podcast. I'm not saying that's what it is, right? That's how some people, some is just purely an, an outlet of, you know, entertainment and just relaxing at home. The the the, but the, 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 the thing was never started for money. So whether it made 10 billion, uh, 1 billion, it's neither here or there. But it's about ownership. When you own something, you can make a difference. Right now, we don't own anything. We're being dictated to what to do and what to say. But so with us, for example, with the mm -hmm. podcast, right? We are not making as much as we would have if we had sold our souls, yeah. right? But we have ownership. So meaning we can still make change. The little that it is, but we still can. Fair enough. So when you get the 80 million rand deal for Grand Joe, are you going to still hold ownership in a high... No, 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 no. It's, it's, you're selling it. Fuck ownership. <laughs> <laughs> it's gone. It's gone. Mm. 
but but that was but meant to make money because that's not like yeah they okay fair enough that was m- fair enough yeah. but it's not they just drive a message of consciousness and yeah, yeah 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 oh. but if fair someone enough. comes that, and says okay we want the podcast for 100 million we can't sell we can't we're cancelled no we can't sell i know <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I heard you, nigga. Hey, hey, hey Checker, what do you think about this? I want to hear what a 2000 thinks about this. A smart 2000. Thank yeah. goodness we've got a smart 2000. What do you think? Yeah, it's a mouthful. But I kind of hear what you're saying. Um, what? Okay, the question that triggered my mind was, isn't that a way of trying to let go? White people trying to take over the stereotypical mindset that we black people are independent and can do something. I mean... If you have captured a person's brain and their freedom, you've captured it all. Mm. And that's what they've been trying to do this whole time. So isn't this part of their, I could say, plan? In a way, it's a question. Yeah, that is part of the plan. And that's why I'm saying it's disappointing when black people, at the first chance to get bought out of their freedom, they take it. But I agree with what Ghost Lady is saying. It's because we're hungry. If we were not hungry, then but then we're we gonna be hungry. We're gonna be hungry forever until someone says, "I'm not taking it." How so? How will we not? How will we be uh, hungry forever? Or how will that person change the whole f- idea or narrative of us being hungry? No, man. What Mac is saying, I get it. What he's saying is, if we keep starting things that have the ability to change the world and our narrative and our background as black people and financial status, and then we'll always sell out as soon as there's a huge paycheck, then we'll never start businesses from full stomachs whereby we own them for like hundreds and hundreds oh. of years mm. and things and oh, movements oh, not just grievances just mm. ge- genres oh, you in my mind nah, you in my mind nah. oh, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> but it's very difficult it's very tricky because the fun hunger is something that you can't con- hunger is hunger bro nobody yeah. wants to be hungry again here's the thing here's the hunger thing. is not nice guys and let's yeah. not clarify it yeah. And and here's, the thing. <laughs> it's bad. So here's, here, here's the thing Bro, what I think is we are our own answer. No. We're we, not, okay. We don't, okay, white people have a vast um, advantage to this whole situation. That's why I was about to, I was going there when I said we're our own answer, but go on, then I'll come so back. So, I feel as if us taking the narrative of, okay, let's keep what we have, and sooner or later, we will have the resources or the answer to end the hunger, right? And eat from that point of a full stomach. I feel as if we have to also come to a realization that they've already taken everything. So we are standing at a point of having nothing. Literally, they have taken everything. No, Even if, for example... The Mapiano situation. They haven't situation. taken this podcast. They haven't taken the next Mapiano <laughs> movement, which could be a different music genre. Like, us as black but people, we are gold mines of genius ideas. Bigger. Yes, we are a gold mine of genius ideas. That's no... And there's probably some undiscovered mineral in Africa that they still haven't taken. There's probably countries that have oil that still, haven't, uh, that still hasn't been discovered. So they haven't taken everything, in fact. I'll okay. be honest. I will retract the statement you, of them taking do. everything. But they have, I could say, the advantage of being able to process the raw material that we have and changing it into something mm. that of they believe they is do, a yeah. sale. Yeah. And don't forget that the yeah. sale is theirs. So they can dictate, even if they're wrong, what the sale is, right? So I don't understand how we could take over that. Okay, that's where I was going. Bro, and... Uh, That's always been the answer. We've got the power of numbers. And... Yeah, Africa's bigger than Asia. You know that. We've got the power, number one, of numbers. How crazy. Listen to that. Africa's bigger than Asia. And number two, for example, in this country, white people don't have the power of numbers, but who the fuck do you think funds Afri Forum? It's a typical Africaner who's a member. Penel is joining them now. He's going to be a member. <laughs> no, hold on. No, 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 no. Let's go to talk. Hey, Wait. He's a king member. Is he oh, not no, the no. white pen? Ah, my <laughs> The white man. pen. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> but the, the colored pen. He all have fucked up. Colored pen, wow. But, but, but. <laughs> 
Hey, go balls, man. We peak. You got ball. You got balls. You got pen. Drop that an idiot. But my thing is, right? What 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 people always will kill us? I'm a little no more by twenty, and I'm a little no more by hundred. I'm a little no more instead of saying, "Let's keep any five rand." Support any this initiative. It's a gala. They won't. I've been looking for Okay, it's fine. I keep on to the rand C20. And that's 400 bucks. And I'm now because I'm keeping five rand by 100. Right? And how much is that? You know what I mean? It's way more. Th- and that's where uh, we fail. And that's why, for example, with the podcast, we got amazing, you know, like uh, uh, chillers who, who are members and stuff. It's five rand, ten rands a month. It goes a long way. Do you get me? Imagine if all the subscribers would laugh at whatever number Barry uh, has of rights. Mm. Would laugh at it, even if it were 10 million. Well, what do you mean, bro? We get that from our chillers every month directly as members. Mm. And that's what kills us as black people. If hip hop was started, or when you start a business and everybody's like, why do you think companies go public? Whose idea was that for companies to go on the stock market and go public? White people's ideas, and that's a form of crowdfunding. Yeah. I start a company, it does well, but fuck, I'm providing grandeur only for South Africa. I want to grow it now internationally. Instead of going to the bank, I do what? I sell shares, mm-hmm. and I get funding directly from people. That's crowdfunding. White people's idea. Bro, we've been brainwashed, and right now we gotta start doing the unbrainwashing. If, as a matter of fact, if we stop speaking English, we'd see life in a different perspective. I I shine the podcast for next. Come on, 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 come you start getting international gigs. So you're getting paid in pounds, in dollars from white people, right? You come back, what do you do? You take all that money and give it back to them by buying Gucci, by buying LV, by buying all the shit. It's a mindset. We've been wired differently. Whereas if you went there in Portugal or wherever you're performing and you wore local brands, that's keeping the money here. We bring the money home. How many brands have we put on by wearing them just on the podcast? Oh like yeah, local, yeah, local brands. brands. We are a lot. That's, of local all, it, that's brands. all it takes. Vips. Oh but man. But we've been, we've been conditioned that if you're not wearing Gucci, you ain't dripping, dog. Yes. And that's why people we're just and taking back the money back where we got it from. And the value in that Gucci is just literally in the name. Yeah. Because it's just cotton. Wording. It's Wording. just cotton like anything else. Wording. It's printed like any other thing. Yes, in high quality, but like any other local brand, it doesn't. W- Wash off when we It's just that the, the it's just literally the values in the name. So that's how white people then took over hip hop, made it mainstream, and started pushing these products to us like Gucci and whatever. So that you, if you're not wearing Gucci, you ain't popping. That comes from hip hop. Imagine if like focal that comes from hip hop. We're just local brands. Oh, dude. Ooh. Fuck. Oh, he used to. He used oh, to. Hey. And then what happened? And then what happened? What happened? He got money, yeah. Oh, yeah. he got money now. He doesn't. Okay, but 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 it's a. I know it's Adidas. It's a foreign brand, but it's working with. There's a thing with Tewa Makuku, uh, Foka and thingy. But you, it's still local money made by an international establishment. And I was just trying to save him, but you know. Yeah. Well, as long as the money is coming a bit, like you know, if there's a, if they're collaborating with. Yeah, the yeah. So Tewa Makuku has yeah. got a huge thing he's yeah. doing with Adidas. Tennis wear and stuff like he's cool, he's yes, big, yes. and uh, then there's Shakana and as well in this campaign. Uh, before we, we get to what's been going on, girls, uh, did you see Tivo Touch's event? <laughs> this nigga's wild, man. Uh-huh. <laughs> he's got an event, yeah. He's doing an event like uh, F1 Grand Prix thing. Let me check it out here. Formula One, yeah, Formula One. Formula One. So, Formula this is the One. event. This is the event. Here we go. It goes Tivo Touch, Touch XP presents trip to F1 Grand Prix final. It's happening in November. Now, here are the tickets. It's 125,000 per person. Okay. 475,000 for four people. Return business class flight and five star hotels for three nights and tickets to the Grand Prix. That's what's included in this package. 
Jeez. Are you paying that, bro? How nah, much? he's just a travel agent. Like, yeah. no, I'm not. I'm one hundred thirty-five thousand. I'll just buy my own tickets. <laughs> yeah. Nah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. this nigga's out of touch, bro. <laughs> <laughs> out of touch. <laughs> one hundred thirty-five thousand. I know Grand Prix tickets are very, very expensive. No, no, no. Listen, number one, the, the Grand Prix tickets just to be. At the circuit, the race course are expensive, and it depends where you're sitting, right? Yeah. Just like a cricket match, you could be there uh, uh, by the embankments, which is just across, or you could be by the, uh, the, the 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 grandstands or whatever, right? Yeah. And the view, mm. cool. Number two, there's cost of flying and stuff. Number three, most importantly, it's accommodation. Number four. What kind of ticket do you have? Is it from Friday, from Saturday to Sunday? Because there's the qualifiers and stuff. Yeah. Right? And then there's Sunday, the race. Hey, you clearly get, we're not the target market, eh? But, hey, no. We're not the target market. No, 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 no. no. Oh, but yeah. what I'm saying is, whatever. 25,000. It's only you, <laughs> Yeah, only Mac qualifies. Yeah. Only Mac qualifies, guys. You know? Hey. But it's so, it's so fucked up. I get, I've started traveling now, eh? Yeah. And they're introducing this thing from um, um, November. You're going to need a travel pass. Oh. When you travel outside the country, wait, thing. did you see that thing? Yeah, locally, even the passport no, 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 outside now, the country. Yeah, even Ooh. the passport is more. Like to get a passport is just it's become almost double the fees. Yeah. And then it's like you're going to be, but when you pass the airport, I think there's a check, like SARS, basically. Mm. It's like you have to be. Yeah, yeah, it's got to do with SARS. So yeah. I think uh, the, the 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 Instagram honey is uh, fucked. <laughs> <laughs> They've always been fucked. <laughs> Shut it on. <laughs> but you know, because yeah, you're traveling five times a, a month, but you don't working. Yeah, what's going on, chief? <laughs> Wait, but you haven't explained what is going on with SARS and traveling and passports. Uh, goes la- yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm goes lady. Fact checker. Did you did you get the article? Uh, yeah. yeah, explain there. Okay, in terms of it, it's an idea. It hasn't been implemented yet. What has been implemented is the f- prices. They're going to be increased. So your travel perm- um, travel documents are doubled. The prices are going to be doubled, and it was published travel on document the document passport. Yes, your passports, your visas. Oh, they're fuck, they're gonna be picking. Doubled. Yes, they're picking up the prices. Yeah. So Double it has passport. been announced on the government. Gazette and the Home Gazette. Affairs Minister has stated that it's true. In terms of the travel permits, it's still being spoken about. It hasn't been implemented as yet. What is implemented are the prices. So it's still undergoing something. Let's call Black Pen and tell him we don't like that. That that Oh yeah, uh, you can speak to the African. Yeah, so can guys. you speak to the guys? We don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> no So I, you have uh, to declare but, 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 but no jokes. No 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 jokes though. <laughs> No jokes, because here's the thing. Every forum, it's, pub- it's funded by people publicly, their own people, their members, actually. Then they can fight that. Mm. But as a black people government, was was a lot of people black, but they don't run. And you'll never do anything about it, but they can fight it because they've... Yeah, yeah. That, that's why they, like, yo, fana, yo, good. They would <laughs> catch her up. Like seriously, <laughs> seriously. No, every you. firm will probably. F- do you know how many cases every firm has won against government? Mm. They'll probably fight that and win. Mm. And and they win because they travel a lot. Mm. But it's also gonna be a win on behalf of everyone because yeah. we all need passports. We all want to travel, I think even if it's to the suit or whatever. This declaration thing. What is what makes it so? Because I feel like it's gonna cause also just now corruption. Because how many people are also gonna be paying their way out in in and out of the country? Mm. So it's almost like just because you've not been able to pin the big guys, you know, who've been corrupt with the money. Now you're going you're going after the the normal Dude, your passengers, like, your guys who are just going traveling in and out. Like, you know. Yeah. And already things are just expensive. Like traveling, guys, is a basic human right, and it's such a beautiful thing for the mind, the soul. Yeah. And you're gonna now make it even more expensive in a country where everything is expensive. expensive. It's fucking inhumane. It's criminal. Yeah, Look man, at what I'm the so COVID. excited. I'm going to uh, Old Trafford this week. Are you going? Oh shit! You're going, yeah, to man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who are you guys playing? Please yeah, tell me you're playing Burnley or something, no, and this is gonna win. <laughs> you know, you, you can you can lose, right? Yeah, but at least I'll be at Old Trafford. Oh, yeah, I think that... You'll cry at Old Trafford. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, shit. When when is the match? Next week? Uh, Yeah, this this coming week. On Wednesday. Oh, no, no, no. Hey, you're flying now on Monday? Yeah, tonight. I'm pretty sure you're flying. Yeah, tonight. Hey! Hey, Hey, Bob Grab. And how much are the tickets? You've got bags in your Uh, car. (laughs) 
Mangue, in the brown, hey, no one you can tell if the man is traveling. Oh, it's the best. Oh, you're done in the house. Oh, I'm glad if I'm not sure. No, no, but I'm very curious. I think a lot of people are like, how, so how much is the ticket? Uh, it was 18k return. Yeah, okay, that's flights, right? Yeah, yeah. cool, whatever. People will see whoever, whichever airline they want to fly with, yeah. and then the the match ticket how much is it oh, i'm not paying i'm uh, i'm going with g2 so he hooked up everything we're going to be at oh, the box yeah. and everything yeah oh, oh, oh g2 box. Mm. Yeah, oh. Yeah, yeah. and i'm not paying accommodation i'll be staying with him oh so yeah that's nice the rock star yeah g2, g2 yeah hey <laughs> g2 the dj yeah, yeah, yeah it's like the official Man- manchester united dj or yeah. one of the it was with benny mccarthy the other day uh, oh the weirdest thing happened so you called me at like 3 a.m video call and i was sleeping yeah and then when I woke up, I'm like, yo, dog, why did you call me at 3 a.m.? He's like, no, I was with Rashford. He wanted to say hi. He's a chiller. Mm. Okay, let's interview Rashford. Yeah, yeah I'm going to try to hook it up when I'm that side. Hey, man. Nah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's beautiful. Yeah. No, man, I must talk to G2. Because yeah. the derby, when it comes back, when it goes to Old Trafford, I don't know, then yeah. talk to him. Because I'm not going to answer that video yeah. call. How? They're not going to believe me on the podcast. <laughs> why don't you answer it? Were you sleeping? I was or? sleeping. It's 3 in the morning, dog. Oh, shit. Yeah. 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 Fuck. But anyway, speaking about traveling, uh, there's been a spike. Did you guys hear this? Uh, with uh, 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 hijackings at drive throughs Hey. Oh, yeah, and crime and phone snatching. I've heard of that. Yeah. yeah. So, so, drive throughs as you're busy ordering your meal. Mm. Back so, age. what happens is there's someone in the front, and then you're in the middle, and then someone at the back. Oh. So, when they get to the front, the guys from the front car will come to your car, take it, and the guys at the oh, back... Oh, so you're sure. sandwiched? Yeah, you're sandwiched, basically. Oh, fuck it, It's wild, eh? So they make, yeah. sure, they make sure that... You can't go back, you can't go forward. You just get out the car. So it's literally a drive through <laughs> Well, you can't drive through <laughs> It's not a drive through because you can't drive through No, I get the drive through with your car. Yeah, <laughs> it is a drive through <laughs> 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 hey, for real. Yeah, man, as well. Oh. That is, guys. Crime is just getting like yo, and it's it's above us. It's really. I so yesterday I was I was going to handle some some stuff, right? By what stuff? License stuff by Lang Lach. Then, but stuff. you don't have a car. Says who? I'm an extremely private person, man. I'm an extremely private person. Oh, okay. Me, you'll yeah. never know things about me. Like, you'll never know things. <laughs> anyway, and also, who says you, so you need a car? you got a car, my dog. Who says you need a car for a license? Hey, Len's calling me. Let's find out why Len is calling me. Who? Yeah, yeah, but it's, oh, it's, it's not smart up. to think yeah. you need a license. You need a car to have a license. A license is a license. Everybody must have a license. Yeah, you must have a license. Imagine when end doctor for some siblings or whatever, or... You need, you are you are pregnant. You need to be then? driven to the hospital. I got a license. Mm. And the macular into name or come on, guys. So you're you know? doing the things, yeah? No. So now, hold on. So now, were you I renewing your license or were you renewing te- my te- license? What do you mean? I've I had a license since 2011. Okay, so I paid. I've had like five cars in my life. How you Ghost lady. Oh. Nice. Jesus Christ. I believe you. <laughs> because what do you mean you believe me? Like I'm lying. I believe you, like, cause I believe you. You're not lying. <laughs> Fucking hell! Like, I've got cars, you know. I'm driving it, like. Yeah, Kumbule, you even narrated. Remember how you said you had the whole accident when they tried to. Yeah, yeah. That, and that was the other car. And you were driving, yeah. Wow, you look nice today, by the way. Yeah, you do, so. man. Yeah, yeah, it's like it's not. Hey, like Ika. It's like Nagas taking. Hey, hey, young man. Yeah, man, you live on the podcast. What's going on, like Ika? Like Higgs. Yo, like Kick. I'm good on yourself. Yeah, man. Uh, Ghost Lady's here. Sol is here, man. So, Blin! Hey, Len. How are you doing, Sol? Man, I'm... Can I say Ghost Lady's name? 
No. Yeah, Kanye. Everybody, Everybody knows, knows Kanye, bro. Yeah, it's Kanye, bro. Oh, okay. Lenore Clearly, you're not a chiller, hey, this one. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> we say it every week, dog. It's Kanye, bro. <laughs> Everybody knows Kanye, I'm really, bro. I'm not really, I'm really, I'm really a chiller, but I'm chill. Ah. Oh, that's cold. <laughs> what are you calling? Why, why, why are you calling? Why are you calling, dog? No, I was calling you because I needed to speak to you because you tried to call me. What the fuck? Oh yeah, I could we wanna guy. we wanna buy cause uh the so the the O eight one number, the podcast Who you number. The? the podcast number. Yeah. The O eight one number. Buying? Yeah. We have the WhatsApp but Len still has the number. So when you call, Len answers. So yeah. I'm trying to buy the number from him. Hey. What can I just give you for free? Uh, I don't know. For <laughs> free. For free. For free. <laughs> for free. <laughs> oh no. Ah, uh, cheap. Okay, chief, guys, chief, negotiate chief. then. Yeah, yeah give me a price. How negotiate. much for the number? Give negotiate. us the 081 number, chief. Negotiate. But I told you, though, we spoke about this earlier on. Why are you being snuck? Are what's you the, making what, me content? What's, what's, <laughs> the, what's <laughs> the figure he gave you? You, you know the vibes. <laughs> what's the figure he gave you? you? Why are you making me content? He said, we spoke earlier on. He said... Are you going to do, gonna write it like... He says, bro. my price. Uh, mend things with Nick. Uh, PS5 and buy Ziggy an Arsenal baby jersey t-shirt. Is okay. Ziggy, how old is he? Seven. What team does he support? Menu, obvious. Okay, you decided that's for him. No, he doesn't support menu. He was forced to support menu. Do yeah, he decided that's for him. Out of the womb and who's and Nick? Said, Hello, I'm a menu United supporter. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> who's what? Who's Nick? Oh, Nick is uh, during the Bloom uh, weekend. Now, now, the, the, yes. the branch. Yeah, we were sponsored by uh, Isuzu, so they gave us a car. And then uh, hey, Tuso. Hey, there was a car. Yeah, Tuso was driving it. And then they hey, crashed the car. Hey, take a bus. Oh. <laughs> they yeah. crashed the car. Oh. <laughs> Tuso crashed the car. Yeah, they scratched it. So now... Oh, scratch. Yeah, scratch. so now Nick is not really happy with that because he was meant to sponsor us for the rest of December for our gigs. So Isuzu is not happy because Tuso... Hey, Isuzu had nothing to do with this thing. <laughs> Me, I wasn't there most. How come I don't have a car in December? I'm going to have gigs, guys. I'm dropping music. Hey, hey, please give Tuso the mic so you can apologize to Nick. Nick yeah. is a chiller, man. Apologize, bro. I wasn't even driving, dog. No, why must I apologize? You must apologize. No, 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 So, 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 how is then then Len saying make things right? Did you broker the deal? Yes. Oh yes. Hey, thank you, Len. Oh, legend, Len. Say what, my Len. Tuso, what do you have to say for yourself, my brother? Speak on the mic, then. You can crash cars, but you can't speak on the mic. <laughs> My, my new Yo, bro, Kulum, were wo- wo- you sober? <laughs> no, I didn't crash the car. Were so you sober? Happened? What happened? No, it's serious, dog. Because, like, you know, people want to give us cars. With that uh, uh, Maya by here, remember, she works for used to work for Palo World CEO and. Eh? Okay. Okay, oh, okay speak you're sober speak, today. Speak, speak, speak for him. him. <laughs> so I'm paraphrasing, right? Yes, yeah, man. yes, man. Can hear you. So, Tuso so wasn't driving the car, apparently. Mm. One of the other guys apparently. were driving. Hey, Lenu says a few. No, I'm you're right, you're Apparently. Yeah, Sbu and Muchafa we. took the car. <laughs> Sbu and who? Who are these people? Who are these people? Grandeur uh, people, but he was responsible for the car. So then it's his response. Then he's, he's responsible. I could if, they, you if, if you delegate responsibility, it means it falls down on you if shit goes wrong. Some heads no, must roll. We, no, heads we, must no, roll. no, no, for real. We yeah, can't real, delegate man. sponsored cars. You can't delegate the responsibility of us. Rule number it's one. It's like you want to you want to your people. Oh, yeah. And then if anything happens. It's kind of cool. It's that simple. And I'm not being a dick. No, I'm not being a dick. But if we're going to delegate something that's been borrowed mm. or sponsored, then it's kind of cool. Mm. It's kind of cool, boy. No, heads must roll, Len. <laughs> Don't be too hard on him. So. No, if I had left for there, of course I won't be hard on him. But the truth is just that. Like, Okay, oh, 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 should we call Spusi so no one no more? Oh, I'm driving my phone. Oh, what's your team, Bon? You know. 
Oh, I'm never drink driving. <laughs> then what? I like it a sharp sharp. I'll see you later, ne? I okay, cool. Just don't crash anything on your way here. No. Okay, hold on. No, 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 no. We can't see him later. You s- so he's he had he had conditions. Yeah. Buy Ziggy an Arsenal jersey. Mm-hmm. Fix things with Nick, the Isuzu guy who's angry then, because the car got nicked. Mm-hmm. And then. <laughs> <laughs> and then and then the second one the third one was what was it uh, buy him a ps5 yeah so are you are we t- having the number back are you doing all those things yeah because you can buy a ziggy a jersey mm. he doesn't wear it you'll say ah sorry lady he's not wearing it mm. just and then you'll see it ah, no, I'm a a wearing the jersey. <laughs> <laughs> i thought he had dropped the phone <laughs> <laughs> you buy him a PS5, you'll fix things with Nick. Yeah. And that's it. So is the deal done? Are yeah. you getting the number? Are we getting the number like Ika? Are you doing those things? Okay, when you come later on, I'll give you the SIM card. Hey! hey. Yes, 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 yes. And then you must post receipts. You must post the PS5. You must post the screenshot from Nick saying we're fine. Yeah. You must post the the the, the T-shirt and that. Yeah, and Ziggy, and, and wearing, Ziggy it. wearing it. And you'll cover his face up because we don't know Ziggy. And it's a beautiful thing you're doing to keep your kids anonymous. Okay, but you so. must post receipts. Yeah, bo. Thank you. All right. Okay. Anything else, Ghost Lady? You um, got the number back. Guys, did you see that um the whole uh Uzo Dwabant she was on her show and she was just confessing about how she's had over eleven abortions. <laughs> Can you see too? So oh, it's like why did I come st- to the show today? <laughs> <laughs> You must be thinking, why did I no, allow people to scratch cars that I, was, that I wasn't trusted with? That's what I must be thinking first, man. Come on. Normally, he drops the guys and leaves. So now I'm sure he's like, Ish, why did I stay? Oh, uh, man. Anyway, back to the story, says Ot. Yeah. Uso, there's had more than 11 abortions. What? Shame, man. For yeah. real? Yeah. You didn't hear me. Yes, sis. Yes. Damn. <laughs> 11. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but it's just like morning police. after. That's well, that includes it, I'm sure. Yeah, Damn. that's yeah. still like partly. But the things you don't know if you were pregnant to begin with in the morning after. Was it you who was telling me that the the kids uh you you, you ha- when you have an abortion? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. What happens? Well, they, that you were supposed to name them, ne? You said that. Yeah, yeah, because the the more yeah. The soul. So they're the alive somewhere the kid, else. The spirit of the kid lives on. You kind of bought that. Mm. You bought the kid physically. It's like when you die. Now, I don't know, maybe we, if you're a born again or whatever. Now, I'm Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? When you die. So, how is that different from a kid mm. who gets aborted or dies dead or dies two days So, after. there's 11 spirits just chilling somewhere. Yeah, sounds like a bar. <laughs> <laughs> but then, how many people will admit? <laughs> <laughs> Eleven spirits killing. No, Jesus. but you know what? He, m- m- my thing is, <laughs> this, guy, this guy. I, I respect that. You know why, right? Because like, would you rather have eleven unwanted babies on Earth as opposed to have eleven abortions? And also, of course, for women, it's it's easy for a guy to judge, but because. More out, you're calm and you come out, you're calm, you're calm. You can have twenty kids. You know what I mean. But it's something else for someone to have kids. What if the what if the one kid was from a rape? What if the second kid was because she wasn't financially ready? What if the third kid was because she wasn't emotionally ready or was going through stuff? You know what I mean. So definitely. And also, if Zoto Abantu can s- come out with that, I'm pretty sure she doesn't hold the record for the most abortion no, in the country. No, Sure, there are many with more. No, that's why I'm saying that. How many other people would be so open just to say? Like, exactly. So shout out to her for being open. Yeah. And it really does sound like a... Because how many times have you bought ladies morning after pills? Mm. Many will count. Different ladies, maybe 10, 5, 20. Some maybe three times a month. I know, the, so yeah, some they buy happy. morning after pills. Who live on morning after pills? Okay. <laughs> oh, what whoa, does uh, Zodo Abantu and Tusa have in common? Scratching things. They are bot missions. <laughs> <laughs> that was a dead one. <laughs> that was a dead one. <laughs> 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 hey. 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 <laughs> hey. <laughs> No, it's not a prison. <laughs> hey, it's that time. You know, I always get depleted. By 50 <laughs> minutes, one hour, oh, I'm I, always I, depleted. Well, 
Wellele. Wellele. And I just think I want to. Yeah, but now nah, Zota man, they must leave Zota. It's fine, you know. That's her truth, and that's it. And yeah. I think it's normal, and it's understandable. And then um, there was a, just a tweet from. Uh, did you guys see it? Oh, the major league DJs. So they said we don't talk enough about how toxic staying Kogasi is. Fake life, jealousy, competition, bulochana, peer pressure, negativity. The list is endless. When you get means, move out, Kogas. What do you think? Yeah, I think we've spoken about this. Now, I don't think I would be here if I stayed go for slow. Honestly, honestly speaking. Do they stay go Kasi though? No. How do no. they know? They're from America, man. How do they know? They've never been Kokazi. No, I Except think for the videos. <laughs> <laughs> no, they stole no, that tweet from someone. I, I think oh, they stole that tweet. Oh, they stole it. Oh, it's one of those scheduled ones. No? <laughs> or do they steal it? Oh. <laughs> like Give me the mic. It's, it's, a, it's, it's a genuine tweet from someone else. Okay, who lived Kokazi? Yeah. And I think also Major League has worked with a lot of kids, Kokasi. They probably know. You know, like when you know. Like Mac. You know Mac, he, he likes saying... Uh, he, sees, he has another agenda. No, no, sort of agenda. Partner. Pushing narrative. Yeah, yes or no, guys? Yes or no? Has Mac never said... Why about you Kokasi? You guys like someone steps on you, you wanna fight them. Or why guys Kokasi you like doing this? Everything must be a fight. You remember when oh, yeah, Skyler stole true, your phone, go pack town pri 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 private school or whatever. Like, why Kokasi you guys steal things? <laughs> you know, so there yeah, is yeah. a mentality sometimes that comes with Kasi. You know, like I said, if I, I, I when my life went downwards and I stayed Kokasi, I wouldn't be here today yeah because my mind would have been fucked like people fucking you over laughing at you like ha you the joke of the kasi because we or whatever you know but i also have noticed he's very he loves his hood but he's he's also of that same mentality yeah i know i'll never go, go back to to the hood why I'll, is it like I'll, that bro? I'll, I'll why, why should guys why, why is it, why like is it important the, for the message of I'll, of of the, this message that when you do let's not when you do when get you do the chance. you when you do go back to the castle you gotta go back to change but also you gotta to change the situation but also you gotta change the situations for people that want to change because most most people in the hood they don't want to change the lifestyle because that's all they know mm. so when you go back you must go back with the man mentality to change those people that want to change what i mean it won't it won't solve the problem of toxicity and jealousy and the all of that stuff. I was about to get to that. It's very toxic in the hood. It's toxic, bro. If I go back and live in the hood right now with everything I have, I'll die the next day. In and Cape Town. I, and I'll be killed by someone Town, next door. Shot next door. Like in Cape Town, people just die, bro. Like it's. I remember when, remember we were in Cape Town and then me in my drunk state. Because we came in a couple of cars and then I went to a random cars. But well, one of the cars we came in, I was like, Son! You wanna die, bro? You'll die in Cape Town! <laughs> For real! <laughs> but it's the hood, dog. Like, it's just like that, man. I don't think it's the hood, man. It's a black mentality. Nigga. This shit happens in the north, man. People are jealous in the north as well. It's not You just started like a business in the hood. The guys are sprinkling water by your doorstep of your club. Uh, Muti. M yeah, yeah. Muti. Water with Muti. Mm. It happens in the north like that. You see, it's not, to it's not the same, man. In the, in the it north, probably does, but not like. Yeah, in the north, you get you get you get killed because you have something. In the hood, they will kill you, just. Oh, I. Oh, oh no, no, I. 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 Yeah, they see that you're going somewhere, but you have nothing. I. Mm. In the north, you buy a car, you park it in your garage. Everybody has a car, mm. and even those. Let's say you buy a, a nice, expensive car. But your neighbor also has money, but they drive a Corolla mm. from nine, from 2005. And they're very happy with it. They won't judge you or, 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 or be envious of you, of your expensive car, which you probably bought an installment or whatever. Mm. They'll be like, oh, whatever. You know? All right, on to some good news. We got another award, Please. guys. An award? Another oh, award, man. Ooh, the wow. Chillers Market won. The best breakthrough developer of the year at the MTN Business App of the Year Awards. Shout out, yo! Another shout one out. for the books. Shout out, MTN! Another one for the books. Yeah, man. And how about MTN joins our financial books? <laughs> <laughs> hey. No, on the real though. Yeah. 
podcast. Yeah. We're a podcast. We're on YouTube. Mm. They sell data. Uh, we can work something out. Surely, yeah. let's make some money. Like, what's up, MTN? We're Speaking here. about MTN, man, listen to this. Remember, we had college tunes for Vodacom. Man, this thing's heavy. Remember at Quality Tunes, yeah. welcome to us for Vodacom. Oh, damn, man. Yeah, we've been having some technical difficulties with them, but they're going to be back up in a few weeks or so. But right now, you can still get, um, you can now get uh, the Welcome Tones on MTN and Airtel. Uh, welcome Tones on MTN and Airtel. What's Airtel? Airtel is a, um, it's a, yes. Nigerian. It's, yeah, it's a, it's a network, cellular network company uh, in Africa. Ah, oh, African network. Yes. Oh, shout yes, out. That's yes. So if you're on MTN Ooh. in South Africa, just dial star one three, uh, star one two three star, one zero star three seven hash, and then you can j- uh, get the John Carney and uh, the normal intro. Hey, that John Carney yeah. one. Is yeah. Incredible. So the John Carney intro is there. The normal intro is there. Just dial star one two three star one zero star three seven hash, and if you are on MTN outside of South Africa, please go to the MTN Play Store, and for our chillers outside of SA on Airtel's network, SMS ACT followed by space to one zero nine four two three eight one for the normal intro, or ACT followed by space to one zero nine four two three eight two to the number one five seven for the John Gani intro. Mm. That's for all our chillers outside of SA. I'm sure, Maligan, you guys will put up the things where people can check it out, no? Yeah. Yeah, but shout, shout out to MTN. Out, We're shout working on Telcom. MTN. Telcom is coming very soon as well. Oh, yeah, shout and out to And Vodacom will be back as well. Ah, oh, shout so out. So those are the call of tunes. And then also, what I got to say, man, 12th November, my birthday party, propaganda is going down, yeah? Dope. Hey. Yeah, 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 Beautiful. yeah. Do you have yeah. a lineup already? Of course. Yeah, I'm just uh, making some final... Final. I'm just waiting for people to confirm. Okay. But it's gonna be lit, man. It's who who, be who 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 did you ask? Uh, basically everybody on the EP. Okay, mm. reason obviously is gonna be there. Sir Trill. Well, Sir Trill. I'm waiting for him to confirm okay. if he's available. Oh, available. Oh, God, is available because guys can want to want to be there, not yeah. Yes, yes, because yeah. yes, right. we wanted Msaki. I wanted Msaki as the headliner because I love her. Msaki's but she's amazing. not in the country. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you see what I mean? Country, and she man. probably maybe fucks with the podcast. Yeah. Damn, man. Who else? Uh, I tried Young Stana. I tried the Piano Hub guys. They said no. I wonder why. Piano Hub. Piano Hub. So cheesy. Oh, you know who we're trying to get? Mopuris. Casper. Tilly didn't respond. Let's try to call Tilly, man. Uh, uh, Tilly. I tried Casper. gave him Pila 2,000 million. <laughs> <laughs> fuck, fuck. Let's call Tilly, man. Let's try book Casper for that. 2,000 for the million. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, Billy, Billy, two thousand. Come on. Oh, Who come on now. No. He went to private right. schools. This nigga. Come on, bro. Ow. It's McG, bro. Yo, Tilly. Yo, what's good, brother? Good, man. It's McG. Yeah, you live on the podcast. What's going on, Tilly? The best manager in the game. Bro. Yeah, motherfuckers. And I'm not being weird. Uh, That's no, honest, no, no. bro. That's being weird. No, 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 no. What do you mean? You, you, my bro, man. Don't put me on the show. You know, you call me privately. So you got my number two. I know, bro, but I just hey, want to say, man, man, man. Yeah, you know, man, you're the Come best. Tilly, enough, we love you. Tilly, you know it's love, Come bro. On. Tilly. I love you all, but we can love each other off air, you know. Man. Why? Don't Why? The chillers are family, bro. Come on, James. I'm not going to hang up out of disrespect. I love you all, you know, but I don't care. Yeah, yeah, you really do. I know. Right, we love you too. We too. love you, you Tilly, seven. man. Yes, best man. guy in the game. You're a cool jet, man. God bless you further, bro. Love you so much. I guess he doesn't have this number. That's why he answered. Yeah, but let's be honest. Tilly's a true gen. Yeah, yeah. no. Yeah, Tilly's, dope. Tilly, Tilly's, dope Tilly's the realest guy in the game, man. Yeah. The realest so fucking... So I guess Casper's not coming. <laughs> Casper would never come, that? though. Like, you'd why? never... After yeah. everything. But that would be dope, dog. But how... Why would he come? Think about it. Yeah? He would never come. For money? For the bag? Never. Never. 
Because he comes and people are like, hey, this guy said it in the prayer. You heard your son is not yours. And then he said, fuck you. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, these are things that happen in the You're peddling rumors now, Chief. You're peddling rumors now. Ay, ay, ay. You're peddling rumors, Chief. Which one is the son? You never said that. Ay. At the prayer, you heard rumors ay. of the paternity ay. being suspicious. Oh. Wait, am I making another okay. narrative? Hey, where another narrative? Am I losing my mind? Yes, you are. Hands in the air if I said that. But yes, you are. Hands in the air if I said that. Hands in the air if I've ever said that. Ha, guys, ha! I, even you. No, no, no. Nigga, you quit your job against me. Now I'm going to say, wait. This nigga just paraphrased on a tweet or something. I don't remember. No, Max said on the show that. No, he said he heard it. Yes, what I said on the It was not him. Yes, but me. What, what did he say? No, it was no, nothing he said he about heard his son. It. And it not that. Nothing about his son. Oh, yeah, it was, it was not that. Okay, you're yeah. 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 my bad. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm ah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah. 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 Stengelutwa. <laughs> 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 Oh, what? But you you said, but you know, I don't want to go back there. But yeah, after everything, Casper would never come on. You know, bro. I mean, you, I mean, you clown him every chance you get. You Aye, come on, man. You, you clown him every chance you nah, get. Nah, I don't. I just tell facts, dog. You just want to make every right. chance you get. Yeah, it's not clowning. It's just facts. I'm yeah. telling the truth. But you really genuinely ask him to come perform. Yes. Oh. And you, you see, the thing is, it's, it's a weird place. And also, it's a weird place for them to be in. Because okay. it's a weird place for them to be in. Because they don't know whether it's a joke or what. Yes. And then he quotes 200,000. And then you come and like, fuck Casper. You have 200,000 to perform. <laughs> so they don't know how to treat it. It's like, this thing is serious. Because deep down, it probably fucks with your shit. You know, like, I ah, fuck him, man. Let me clear the air with this the Casper serious. thing. Let me be honest. For once, and we're going to be done with this. Can we, can we stop but I think you answered it? at the branch, but you can do it now because we haven't dropped the branch yet. I have nothing against Casper. <laughs> love his music, love his career. What he's done is aspiring. Shout out to him. Mm. The issue I have is with fake, the fakeness in the industry. And he's part of it. Like I said in the branch that he reminds me of everything that I hate about the industry. Mm. For example, how can you say yeah, if I lose this fight, I'll come on the podcast. You lose the fight. And then you don't come on the podcast. And judges said you lost a fight. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then you go around saying you own this alcohol brand when you don't. That's what I'm against. I'm against fakeness. Mm. Fair enough. That's it. Mm. I don't hate the guy, but I need to call out shit when I see shit. Yeah, because you've been burnt by it. Industry fakeness to some degree. And that's why I hate the industry. And that's why we are outsiders because we don't subscribe to that bullshit. That mm. fakeness and yeah, people yeah, pretending that, to be the, something they're not. The, you know what I mean? There's a weirdness in the game. It, people are just not genuine. There's a weirdness it, generally in the game. If you check, I'm always consistent. Even with it girls. I was like, don't be fake. If you're selling pussy, own don't it. Don't be faith. <laughs> you understand? I just hate fakeness. That's it. Mm. Like, just, why, why are you going to be fake? Speaking like, of, wait, wait. I remember, I'm, I think I'm late for this, right? George booked us. <laughs> he knows where I'm going. <laughs> Nazo, Nazo. See, another fake nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you've said I've that I've always before. been consistent. You, fake yeah, nigga. You've always said that. George booked us <laughs> at his... One of his uh, five birthday parties during his birthday month, and in Pretoria, Morocco, and so I saw, I see, I see Mac and more flavor. I'm drunk as fuck, and I'm like, unite, love, let's spread love. And then they 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 they, they shared some words. What, what happened? What did you guys say? Ah, it was chilled, man. I was like, hey, long time. It's like long time, and that was that, man. What was that? It was nothing hectic. That's it. Ah, you lying. Bro, we've moved on from more flavor, man. We've got bigger fish to fry now. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a fact. 
That is what. That is what. <laughs> but we have more, we have more flavor to fry. Oh. oh wow! Yeah, no, fuck <laughs> I was just curious about that interaction. Nah, it was. Chill, I thought man. it would be like, yo, bro, like, cause I'm I'm a very open guy. So if that would were, were to happen to me and a nigga, that. I, I, I would say my piece, the honest. I'd say like, yo, I, I still think you're a dick, but I'm so proud of you. Or, hey man, I still think you're a dick, but I'm proud of how far you have come. Also with your thing or whatever, you know. So it was just that you're both fake to one another because you. I'm sure he's got a lot to say to you, and you have a lot to say to uh, him. Of course, yeah. <clears throat> you just didn't say it. Nah, what do you mean? I just. I didn't say what. So there wasn't like any the, the, the truth. The truth. What was in your heart when that day? Mm. Like I told you, I'm over it. Like, like, it's like it's whatever. I don't really care. Nah, fair enough. Cool. You know what I mean? Cool. But if you were to come here, we can chop it up. But you'll never come because he's a fake ass. I nigga. think he wants. He's a chiller. He's a chiller, but he's I a fake ass nigga. So you'll never come and look in the mirror. Mo, eh, tiki, zokala, chu, zokala, zokala, zokala. Bro, zokala, zokala. I extended the invitation long ago. Oh, you've invited him so many times. Yo, guys, let's get more flavor on the show. Tiki, zokala, so tiki, so eh, that they were radio, zokala. Nah, dog, we've already revived enough careers this year. Ah, well, eh, our quota's done. Our CSI is done for the year. Well, well, impi. Wellele impi wellele impi Siti sia sama I think it ran cool mumuna u three them Hey man uh, from the bottom of my heart I just want to send a big shout out to all the chillers for making the EP the biggest in the country Ooh. shout out man Ooh. fucking god is great man god is amazing bro. man I couldn't believe it bro bro I, I can't believe like what you did was amazing like uh, true story what you did with the, with the launch mm. um the listening session slash launch i i think yeah and had to do it live yeah. Th- that's historic no one in yeah. piano has done that yeah and probably it's, hopefully it's going to be a trend it's all oh, it's a fucking beautiful hours there is amazing bro yeah, just don't hire aya for the sound hey Oh, did you have sound problem mm. i man you giving the wrong narrative you hired other people that are unprofessional Okay, what happened? Don't, what was the don't issue? Don't bring I, what, it to me, chief. What, what is the, the issue? issue? Clear your the, name. No, the 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 niggas were, were responsible for the mic, which was bad, and they were sending the output from them to my to my sound. So you're sending output. Send, yeah, I was sending um, streaming output. So my my in my monitoring it was fine mm. until I went to YouTube to monitor. Oh. So that's the output from the guys mm. that are streaming. Oh. They had their volume oh, up on their side. Mm, too much. So now it was distorting. And then I fixed it after I saw the problem. But nonetheless, it was a great night. And I got to send a shout out to Aya, man. He put everything together. The producers, the girl who sings um, Dali, Uradi. I didn't know her, bro. Aya brought her, yeah? Oh. How, how did that happen? Dali, the one with mesh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ukula la pok manti panti. It's in Bia Mafasi. Rod Kill. Sigoyazi. Sigoyazi. Manti panti. Uti ni chomo kula la. Nigga ni mic. Nigga ni mic. No, 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 no. Listen, you don't want this thing that happened with, with Seth and Mac saying. Nandi, Dota, Uti, Lalizik. Tarang Funa, Michael. Yeah, you don't want people to think Tarang Funa, Michael. Man's a pants. That's, the, bi- that's the biggest song in the EP, by the way. Ah! Hey, now! Hey, now! Hey, now! Hey, now! Hey, now! Hey, now! It's gonna last the longest on the charts. Okay. But what were you saying? That's a good question. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah what well, well, I heard, Man's a pants. Because if I heard it, someone else is gonna hear it. Yeah, sing it first, then. Sing a yapi masuga guwe. Wait. Sing a yapi masuga guwe. Sing a yapi masuga guwe. No, get to the party. Wait, wait. Get to the party. Manzi panty. Manzi panty. Okay, sing your verse. Sing your verse. I'll pick yeah, it up. Yeah, you are for God. I, I didn't even write that thing down for Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, sing it. Sing your Jay-Z. verse. Jay Z. Jay Z. Sing it. Sing it. Sing it. Sing it. Sing it. I forgot. Play it. 
Ah, he can't play. Sing a yeah. I forgot it. I don't, I don't Put know. headphones. Put headphones and sing it from the headphones. <laughs> yeah, I've got it. I've got headphones. I've got headphones. <laughs> sing along to your own voice. Yeah, but while he's singing along, now, let me shout out everybody that's involved on the EP. Shout out to Sir Trill. Shout out to Bailey, MJ Keys. Uh, shout out to Sai Le, the twins on Tico. Shout out to Robert Boy, Sinom Solo, Cesar Alakine, TBO, uh, Lady Do, uh, Heartbeats and T Arrow, Ura D, uh, Mesh, Stressa, Given Kanu, uh, Mac Lowe, Pairs, audio addicts. I know you love audio addicts. I was about addicts. to say, hey, what about Amoko? Yeah, 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 audio yeah. addicts. Those boys are fucking phenomenal. Yeah, and Check shout out, out to EP, I as well, audio man. Addicts. Big shout out, man. He put everything together, man. Is it? Did he mix all the stuff? Who uh, mixed no, no, no. He mixed. Uh, which one did you mix? Uh, yes, Fela vocals and motherfucker. Yeah, and this motherfucker. Ooh, nice. But he Who got else? audio addicts. He brought in audio addicts. Yeah. He brought in Ora D. Who else did you bring in? Even stress. Even stress. And yes. so that either wouldn't be smart the fuck. Nope. Speedy smart the fuck. Then they, they, they do this pitch thing on the. <laughs> yeah, Both man. Both are talented. Yeah, man. I love very talented. Bits. Thank you, thank you, man. You, you know we're running out of things to be number one in now. Mm. Number one podcast. Hey. Number one EP. Hey. hey. Number one app. Mm. Number one road killer. Ah. Oh. Oh. I value so, value so. I value. Uh, I love number one hated in the game. <laughs> <laughs> number one hated in the game. Uh, I love Sergeant Number one selling alcohol, <laughs> selling gin, selling liqueur, selling white bottles, selling everything. Number one black no, person selling. They number one liquor. black person selling. Uh, hey man, you haven't. Hey, 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 hey. Black person selling. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, yes. yes. You know? Number. Yeah. What's next? What's next? Tibla. What must we do next? Yeah? We'll see the way. Mm. Number one teacher. Teacher? <laughs> number one teacher. Ah, uh, come on. <laughs> nah. Who wants <laughs> to be a number one teacher? Come on now. No, my number one Who teacher. grows up and says, I want to be the number one teacher? Ah, yeah, come, on. come on, there's teacher awards. You know, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, for real, there's teacher awards in the country. Yeah. Wouldn't you like your kids to be taught by the number one teacher in the country? Yeah. Yeah. Math teacher? Yeah. Biology teacher? I feel like uh, we need to wrap it up, but I feel like I'm missing something. Am I missing something, guys? I've done everything, no? Uh, uh, yeah. Piano Unleashed, are we dropping again? Who's, who's on the... This is the Mokis. Mokis, yeah. the, the, was beautiful, the Toss episode, man. Yeah. Is it, the Toss episode was beautiful. Is it Mokis? Mokis, yes. And I was chatting How to does him. it say we say the word, the name? Mo- is it Moa? Mokis. Or Mokis, or Mikeys. Like, Moa. Moa, yeah. Moa is yours, or me. Mohao. Oh, Mohao. Bro, his name is Mohao. Oh, now I was, I was thinking, oh, oh, I'm Mohau, glad you reminded Mohau me. You know what's the craziest thing? When we're shooting uh, uh, Piano Unleashed, Mohao Keys is such a big fan of Rings of Power, he's thinking of doing a track using this, uh, the opening uh, soundtrack. For real? Yes. Oh. <laughs> because of the show. Hey, Mohao Dude, how crazy. Oh, Keys, so we Mohao Keys is a chiller. Yes. For real? Yeah. Hey, Wow, bro, you're I'm like, talented. that's wild. Wow. You're the best of producer power. in the Rings country. Of because of us. Yes. Oh, that is so wow, cool. Wow, bro, and Rings of Power is amazing. I thought you would have done that, bro. Hey? Yeah, it's something like, it's just it's sort of something I would do. But hey, yo, how is like, because that, that opening theme of Rings mm. of Power is just, it's epic, you mm, know? Mm. And it's, I don't have the minerals, the capacity to actually turn that whole opening <laughs> thing whole into a piano thing. Yeah, it's orchestra like, and mm. Mohawk Keys is very musical. You can tell it's got some musical theory in his head. You, you know, know what I hate about amazing. Rings of Power, bro? Is that it's gotta end. Like, I can feel we're getting to the end now. Oh, yeah. yeah and I just yeah. want to keep on oh, going, yeah. bro. There's always that hanger, you know, mm. in the end, mm. in the end of it. Because uh, where I. I I left it was they were chasing away Galadriel from uh, Numaro, the the, yeah. the island, yeah. and then once they Numero. did that, mm-hmm. come again. It's a what is it? Numen Numenor. Numenor. It's Numenor. Numenor. And then after they chased away, like there was like these white snowflakes or whatever, and apparently that means their gods were crying, but everybody in the city didn't want her there. Mm. Then the the queen regent is like, no, 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 I'll take her home now myself. So I don't know. I doubt they will take her home. I don't know what's going to happen. But you guys have passed there, so I'm I'm at the aftermath of the war. It's quite sad, but it's, you know. No, Mm. are you serious? I told you. Does Galadriel die? Ah, no spoiler alert. Make sure you check it out on Prime Video, man. We are here. So, Penduka, anything else you want to say, my dog? No, 
no, no, no, peace, peace, peace. Shout out to Tanam Tarawi Tower on Tower. Hey. Tower Rewrap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Tower Rewrap. Yeah, you're depleting now. <laughs> <laughs> you're depleting. Hey, my Shona bundles are finished. <laughs> <laughs> Tower Rewrap. Oh, Pella. Tower Rewrap, yeah. Mm-hmm. He's got a wine thingy. He's got a wine. Former Shout Springbok has got a wine out. business coming up. Shout out to Chris KB also. His wine business is doing pretty well as well. So shout out to them niggas, dog. Dope, dope, dope. And they own it, net. They're not just a face. Ish. Only when they whine one day and that they've been robbed, then we'll know if they were owning it or not. We don't know. I don't know. I haven't seen the books, but they are saying they own it, so we'll believe them because that's what we should do as humans. So shout out to them. Mm. Even being a face, you're still making some kind of money. Yeah, yeah. You got a, a five million deal. You're still a face. Mm. Yeah, the business may be making fifty, but still, it's money. You it's get a portion. A yeah, black family exactly. gets to eat. Do you own the word ghost lady? Do I own the word ghost lady? Mm. Hey, boo. Do you own Mac G? <laughs> <laughs> Can't take Fuck me to you. war. <laughs> Can't take him to <laughs> war. <laughs> you gonna say that shit, though. <laughs> hey, man, hey, they Cause say Because there's another Mac G who's a fashion guy. Hey! <laughs> yeah, there's another Mac G who's a fashion. Yeah. But and it's got it, like four E's or whatever. And he robs people that fuck up, man. Yeah, for real. Yeah, oh, which brings me to Grand Gem, man. I want to apologize to all the chillers. You know, I'm always about uh, supporting black businesses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Black excellence. Yeah, so there's a chiller. Um, and I won't say his name because I don't want to kill his business, you know. Um, um, uh, um, we're not in the business of destroying businesses. Mm. Um, but um, he was meant to do... Remember the black uh, box I showed you? Yeah. That I came to see. Oh, that, that, that box with the folding, yeah. yeah. Yes. So I outsourced a black company to do that. And I waited for like two months, bro. And people were emailing me that bought the black bottle. They're like, yo, man, where's our box? Where's our bottle? What's going on? So I just had to send the, 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 the bottle without the box, bro. And it's not the same. Because it was why, expensive, Why, why, why? Because the guy didn't deliver. Till this day, I don't have the boxes. Yo. I've been waiting for like three months now, Did bro. Did you pay him? Yeah, I paid him everything. Scammed me, dog. Now I look like that typical black company. So you paid him in full. In full. He boxed the money. <laughs> Shut the fucking. So I apologize, but I'm working on something to uh, make up for 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 for. for and for you were that. just entrusting a, a fellow black business entrepreneur. And now the funny thing is, I've had to go to a white company to do the black <sighs> that's, boxes. That's that's the fuck. That's the pain. And I have thing. to pay again. That's the painful ah. thing. And the next time you do a business, a, a deal with anyone of any race, and then you're like, no, I'll pay you 50% or 40%, do the work, and then... Because also, at the same time, you understand the plight of black businesses. You have a black business. But why you don't understand you expose that the business? Why don't you say... No, no, no. Let's not do that. It happens, these things, you know? And 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 possibly you learn from it. Because let's be honest, white people have been fucking up entrepreneurship for the longest time. Yeah. And to us, it seems like they've perfected it. They've had many businesses that flunked. They used to blow money as well, get paid by government for a tender, blow it. Yeah. And you learn through those things, you yeah. know what I mean? So, yeah, I think I agree with you with not killing the guy's entrepreneurship thing. But also... You pay it up front because you know that businesses struggle yeah. to keep the lights on. Mm. And then that happens. Yeah, it's sad. Leaves a sour taste in your mouth. What, what is he saying? Uh, he said he would have them by last week and he would reimburse me, but nothing. He doesn't answer anymore. Um, but uh, it's fine, man. Like, it's, I it's cheated. Yeah, yeah. It just leaves a so, sour so taste So I'm working on something to make up for that to all the people that, blo- uh, that bought the, 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 the black bottles. Because they spent a lot of money, man. It's limited edition. It's never going to happen. Yeah, yeah of game. course. The price is substantially different. Yeah. So they want their box. So yeah. we're taking a loss. But, you know, as long as the experience and the product is good, that's all that matters. Yeah. Shit, that sucks, man. Yeah. Get into business, you'll see, my dog. Yeah, business is... is, is no, business is brutal, bro. Mm. Like there's scammers, there's tricksters, there's all sorts of unscrupulous characters. Unscrupulous. Mm. English, bro. That's the word for okay, the day. boy. Do you make love like in Big, lish, big English? Yeah, let's, oh, let's fornicate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm the most oh, simplest. Coitus. I'm the most simplest of <laughs> humans when, ha- when, when having sex. Look at this I'm unscrupulous dick. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm the most. I'm the most simplest. I'm a. I'm beast-like when I'm having sex. It's like I don't even know l- any language. Yeah. It's just body, me, sweat, person, expression. Casual. We out of here. Podcast and chill. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Well,
Welcome to Black Excellence. Do not fear, for if you do, just sip on some grandeur. And if you still do, ask ourselves, what would Mapapunzi do? Parama chilla, itlesha lefiki. Bungo yig, even when they ask you, how sabi yin, do not fear. For if you do, just say, Anistivi. This is the medicine of censorship. This is the pill. Which one is that one? Podcast and chill.